The other night I was given this uh, book, which is basically the sales brochure for uh, A Opens. Um, <clears throat> A Opens, uh, what is it? Um, their entire motherboard line. Um, wonder when this is from. From uh, uh, doesn't say on it, does it? Let's see here. Maybe in the back page or something. No. Nope front page it really isn't a front page I don't even know it doesn't even say but this is a opens entire motherboard line of the era um, and what's neat about this is <clears throat> a lot of these boards are obviously now obsolete hard to find whatever but uh, yeah actually you can see right here at least uh, you can see all the boards that are that were available at the time from this manufacturer and if you know a open they were sort of like a very generic uh, brand uh, that basically relabeled a lot of different company stuff. And so here you can see uh, they have matrix of uh, 478, 423, 478, uh, 370, and, <clears throat> and such for the Intel line. And then they have the Socket A um, Athlon Duron K7 CPU line there. And what's neat about this brochure is, I mean, it actually goes into the detail of each of these boards and the pros and cons of each board so like you know in here you can see you know uh, the different information there's even a picture for the mx4b um, <clears throat> because and it would basically say you know agp pro agp 4x agp 4x it would just basically tell you like these are the supported features of each of these boards from the era the via apollo series uh, the intel series um, and which one supported the, uh, ATA 100, um, you know, um, and which one supported, uh, sort of like, you know, which audio chipset did they use, which, you know, which ones had integrated 2D or 3D. Um, I actually found out recently that some of these models here actually had that, uh, what they called the integrated, uh, 2D, 3D engine was actually a basic Savage 4, uh, which is pretty powerful for the era better than uh, Intel's integrated graphics, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, yeah, it's just a real trip through memory lane, just looking at this and, you know, kind of seeing um, the, uh, there's the PLE 133, which, you know, 133 megahertz bus speeds uh, for Pentium 3 and Celeron, or the Via C3, uh, what are those things? Are those Maxwell or are those... Uh, um, I can't, um, I was on the tip of my tongue, um, but yeah, that's really cool. And, uh, there's, uh, some more of the boards, uh, for the Intel line. I think that's probably where the Intel line ends. And then we get into the AMD platform and here we've got our Athlon Durons and such. We've got, uh, um, what do they call that? Uh, wow. Look at the DDR speeds, PC 2100. USB six ports, AT100. These ones have uh, uh, FireWire IE1394 and uh, support up to Ultra DMA100. That really dates them right there. And then look at this. We've got more of the, uh, what do they call it? K7 type, uh, well, not K7, sorry, the uh, more of the Apollo chipset uh, types. And, uh, yeah, and then uh, some of the general benefits of uh, A-Open motherboards at the time, like the Dr. LED, which some of the boards supported uh, onboard diagnostics, power bridge benefits, Dr. Voice, which is, uh, uh, it could actually tell you, um, let you know what's wrong with the board uh, in different languages. Um, Low cost digital transport up to 400 meg per second and IDE read. <clears throat> but yeah, custom motherboard solutions by A Open. And I know the lighting's not perfect here, but at least it gets it up there, right? And somebody might be look, looking, going, hey, I have one of those boards and I'm curious or, sort of how they sold it or what benefits they kind of touted of the day. And hopefully we can zoom in on this and be like, hey, 
that one had max 3 gigs of RAM, that one had max 512 megs, and this one had, uh, you know, AC97 audio and, you know, frequency adjustments and integrated uh, engines, and hey, I didn't, hey, look at this one, it actually tells you it's an S3 Savage 4 AGP4X built in, uh, which is, you know, pretty outstanding graphics driver compared to a lot of the boards uh, in the early days were integrating things like the Trio, uh, S3 Trio, or the S3 uh, early Verge chips. I mean, the, the Savage 4 is a pretty damn decent card. Um, but yeah, really cool. The Open Motherboard Solutions.